Good evening ladies and gentlemen. Please smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Bond court is now in session. All right, good morning, sir. Could you tell me your full name and date of birth? Efraín Antonio Jiménez Garcia, uh, August 31st, 1992. All right, I'll appoint the public defender. Sir, you were arrested for domestic violence battery. I reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause. I'm setting bond on the battery for $1,000. No contact with the victim in this case. No contact is no face-to-face -face contact or indirect contact, meaning through someone that knows you or through the use of a phone, and you can't go back to this location. Thank you. Morales Mendez. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your full name and date of birth, please? Guamel Morales Mendez, 1978. Guamel Morales Mendez, 1978. All right, and thank you. And good morning. Could you tell me your full name, please? Yes, Aldaliva Rodriguez. And can you get really close to the microphone? Just go ahead. Say your name again. Alvalira Rodriguez. Okay, thank you. All right, I'll appoint the public defender. Uh, Mr. Morales, I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause. Ma'am, um, what would you like contact with the defendant or no contact? Yes, I would be fine. Yes, contact? Yes. Okay, are you in fear for your safety? No. And do you understand that if things get escalated, you can still call the police? Correct. Okay. And have you, has anyone told you to say you want contact with the defendant? No. Okay. All right. Based on um, testimony from the alleged victim in this case, I'm setting bond in the amount of $500. Mr. Morales, no hostile contact, meaning if it gets escalated between you and the victim, you, it's on you or your responsibility to turn around and walk away. Do you understand? Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Next case, John Paul Calorit Calortiz. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your full name and date of birth? John Calortiz, 20 de febrero de 1970. No, no, Jean Paul. Jean Paul Ortiz, February 17, 1973. All right, thank you. I'll appoint the public defender. Mr. Cal Ortiz, I reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause. I'm setting bond in the amount of $1,000. All right, thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Pagan Morales. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your full name and date of birth, please? Alexander Pagan Morales. La fecha de nacimiento, octubre 18 del 2000. Alexander Pagan Morales, and my date of birth is October 18, 2000. All right, Mr. Pagan Morales, I'll appoint the public defender to represent you. Sir, you have been arrested for uh, no valid driver's license, no motor vehicle license. Additionally, you're out on bond on two cases. Um, I find probable cause for the no valid driver's license. I'm setting bond in the amount of 500. No motorcycle license. I'm setting bond in the amount of 100. Additionally, I'm revoking a release on the two cases that you're out on bond for. All right, thank you. 
All right, Mr. Morales Sanchez. Good morning, sir. Could you tell me your name and date of birth? Uh, Miguel Morales Sanchez, um, 28 de septiembre, uh, 59. Miguel Morales Sanchez, September 28, 1959. All right. I've re I'll appoint the public defender. I reviewed the arrest affidavit. Um, I'll release you ROR on this case, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Next case, Drake's. Okay. Um, I'll appoint the public defender. Do you want to reset or waive his appearance? Uh, let's waive his appearance, please. Okay. Um, for Mr. Drakes, I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause. I'm setting bond on count one, 3,500, count two, 150, count three, 150. No return to the location, no contact with the victims. He has one more case. He has one more case? Mm. Oh, and the Bat Leo. I find PC. I'll set bond 2,500. Thank you. All right, uh, Jean Antoine, are you Mr. Antoine? Okay, do you yes, need the assistance? Okay, do you need the assistance of a Spanish-speaking interpreter? No, ma'am. Okay, ma'am, I think we're done. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay. All right, Mr. Antoine, um, you are here because you've been arrested for battery. I'll appoint the public defender. Um, I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause for the battery. I'm setting bond in the amount of $1,000. No contact with the victim. No contact is no face-to-face -face contact or indirect contact. Additionally, you're out on bond. No, you're out on ROR on a resisting. Uh, I'm revoking a release based on the new charge. All right, thank you, sir. Next case, John Head, Head, Headridge. Your Honor, can we skip over here for just a moment? Sure. Next case, Summers, Dwayne Summers. Good morning, sir. Could you tell me your full name and date of birth? Speaking of oh, that. Dwayne Warren Summers, ma'am. And your date of birth? 8 1976. All right, I'll appoint the public defender. Sir, you have been arrested for petty theft with two prior convictions. I reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause. I'm setting bond in the amount of $1,000. If you post bond, you can't go back to that location, okay? There's no way I can get pretrial release. I have a job. I don't have nobody over Hold here. Hold on. Let me see if you qualify. Does he qualify? No, Your Honor, he does not. Qualify. Sir, you don't qualify for pretrial release, so I can't release you to pretrial. Thank you, sir. An amount that you can afford. Huh? An amount that you can afford. An amount that you can afford. Your Honor, would you consider lowering the bond amount to an amount Mr. Summers can afford? How much can you afford? Five hundred. Five hundred. All right, I'll set bond. I'll lower that to 500. Don't go back to that location. Thank you. Right. Mr. Gandhi? Good morning. Good morning. Could you tell me your full name and date of birth? Le Frederick Emmanuel Gandhi, May 10th, 1994. All right, thank you, sir. I'll appoint the public defender to represent you. You've got two matters. First, you've been arrested for domestic violence strangulation battery, domestic violence battery, and resisting. Also, you've been arrested on a failure to appear. I'll, you don't qualify for the public defender. So on the new case, I reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find PC. Count one, I'm setting bond in the amount of 2,500. Count two, 1,000. Count three, 500. Uh, you, you can return one time to get your belongings with law enforcement. You are to have no contact with the victim in this case. Hold on one second. And then on the failure to appear, bond was already set by a judge in the amount of zero. So you're going to be held on that until that gets resolved. Thank you, sir. Mr. Green, good morning. Could you tell me your full name and date of birth? My name is Green, 1892, please. All right, I'll appoint the public defender. Sir, you've been arrested for domestic violence kidnapping and domestic violence battery. 
I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause. Um, on count one, I'm holding you on no bond. Count two, I'm sending bond in the amount of $1,000. You are to have no contact with the victim. No contact is no face-to-face -face contact or indirect contact, meaning through someone that knows you and the victim or through the use of a phone. Thank you. Do it right now, okay. Miss Hippo Hippolyte. Okay. Could you tell me your full name and date of birth, please? Judith Hippolyte, July 15, 1990. All right. Thank you. I'm appointing the public defender, ma'am. You've been arrested for aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, domestic violence. I reviewed the arrest affidavit. I do find probable cause. I'm sending bond in the amount of $2,500. You are to have no weapons or firearms. You cannot have any contact with the victim, and you can't go back to this uh, location of the alleged incident, okay? And then here's your, and then here's your and the public defense can come in. Uh, your Honor, this is her house, and she has family there. Her kids live there. Uh, is there something else that we could do to? Um, does, where does the victim reside? He went back to Massachusetts. All right. So um, no contact with the victim. You can go back to that location since it's your home, okay? All right. Thank you. Mr. Isa Isaza? All right. Could you tell me your full name and date of birth, please? Andres Felipe Isaza. And your date of birth? September 7, 1981. Okay. Sir, you've been arrested for aggravated battery on a pregnant person. Uh, you don't qualify for the public defender. I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause. I'm setting bond in count one in the amount of $1,500. No contact with the victim in this case. No contact is no face-to-face -face contact or indirect contact, meaning through someone that knows you and the victim or through the phone. You can't have any weapons or firearms, and you can't go back to this location. All right, thank you, sir. Does she live there too? Yeah, but she has a property. She moved to her house. Your Honor, uh, he has a house in, uh, this is his only house, and the alleged victim has a house in Chicago. Is there a way to um, amend the contact order? Do they reside together? Yeah, we moved here three months ago. I sold my house because I wanted to come here and she wanted to come with me alone. But she has her own house down in Chicago. I don't have a house in Chicago. This is all I have. Yeah, based on the alleged incident, you're going to have to find another place to live. Okay. Okay? Until the case is resolved. Thank you, sir. Bond information. You're going to have to hire a private attorney, okay? All right. All right. Mr. Light, could you tell me your full name and date of birth, please? Michael Robert Lick. And your date of birth? 328.72. Okay. All right, sir. Uh, you do not qualify for the public defender. Um, you've been charged with domestic violence battery by strangulation. I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause. Good morning, ma'am. Could you tell me your full name? Sarita Lloyd. W did you say Williams? Sarita Lloyd. Lloyd. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, Miss Lloyd. Um, would you like to have contact with the defendant or no contact? Um, yes, contact, please. Yes? Are yes, you contact. afraid for your safety? Oh, no. Do you understand that if, if he posts bond and he comes back, that if things get escalated, it's on him to walk away, you understand? Yes, ma'am. You understand you can still call the police if there is another altercation? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. So, Mr. Like, based on the testimony of Ms. Lloyd, um, I'm setting bond at 1500 No hostile contact, meaning if it gets escalated, it's your responsibility to leave the situation. Do you understand? Okay. Um, thank you. Sir, this is your bond amount. Mr. Nelson, could you tell me your full name and date of birth, please? Justin Levante Nelson, 11-7-2000. Okay. Um, I'll appoint the public defender. Sir, you've been charged with robbery, sudden snatching, grand theft, and domestic violence battery. I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause on all three counts. Good morning, ma'am. Could you tell me your full name? Destiny Plaza. Um, your last name? Plaza. Plaza. Okay. Um, and Ms. Plaza, uh, tell me whether or not you want to have contact with the defendant. Contact is fine. Okay. 
Um, are you afraid for your safety? No, ma'am. Okay. Do you understand that if you do have contact that it's his responsibility to walk away or de-escalate the situation if it gets heated again? Correct. And you understand that you can still call the police? Correct. Okay. All right, sir. I'm setting bond on count one in the amount of fifteen hundred, count two in the amount of one thousand, count three in the amount of one thousand. You are to have no hostile contact with her. Meaning, if it gets escalated, it's on you to walk away. You can't possess any weapons or firearms. You understand? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Parker. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your full name and your date of birth? Akeem Parker. 02 1996 All right, Mr. Parker, I'll appoint the public defender to represent you. Sir, you've been charged with domestic violence battery, criminal mischief, and tampering with a witness to hinder communication to law enforcement. Um, I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause. Count one, bond is set at 1,000. Count two, bond is set at 1,000. Count three, bond is set at 1,000. You cannot have any contact with the victim. No contact is no face-to-face -face contact or indirect contact, meaning through someone that knows you and the victim or through the use of a phone or electronic device. Uh, you can't go back to this location, and you cannot possess any weapons or firearms. All right? Thank you, sir. And Your Honor, does no contact order include a provision that he can do a one-time visit to collect his things? You can go one time back with law enforcement to collect your belongings. Okay, then you, you'll be able to go get that. You'll be able to do a one-time visit to collect your things, okay? okay? All right. Mr., how do you say your last name? Rochelma. Rochelma, okay. And your full name? Evans. All right, and your date of birth? 124, 1991. All right, I'll appoint the public defender. Sir, you've been charged with domestic violence battery and also aggravated battery. Um, I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause. Count one, I'm setting bond in the amount of 2,500. Count two, in the amount of 1,000. You cannot have any contact with the victim. No contact is no face-to-face -face contact or indirect contact, meaning through someone that knows you and the victim or through the use of a phone. Uh, no weapons or firearms while the case is pending. Okay, thank you. right now. So, do you live in the house alone? No, no my mom wife my kids me right now. My mother have my kids. I think some of them up north. Okay, so they have two children in there. All right, thank you, okay. sir. Right, that, does, that doesn't affect, that won't affect anything. Mr. Hedridge? There's your bond information, okay? Sir, good morning. Could you tell me your full name, please? Hedridge, Hedridge Kelly Ted John. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Hedridge Kelly Ted John. Thank you. And your date of birth? 10-29-88. Okay. All right, I'll appoint the public defender. Sir, you've been charged with trespass. I find PC. I'm setting bond in the amount of $250. And if you post bond, you cannot go back to that location. All right? Thank you, sir. So this is your bond information. Can you get R&R? No. And this is our information. Next case. Badnell. Cor Corey Badnell. All right. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your full name, please? Yes, my name is Corey Badnell. And your date of birth? 922-85. All right. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Uh, could you tell me your full name? Anais Morris. All right, Ms. Morris. I'll appoint the public defender. Mr. Badnell, you've been charged with domestic, uh, no, you've been charged with battery. I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause. Ms. Morris, what is it you'd like to tell me about contact? Do you want contact or no contact? No, ma'am. No contact? All right. Um, Mr. Badnell.
All right, I'm sending bond in the amount of $1,000 on count one. If you post bond, you cannot have any contact with Ms. Morris. No contact is no face-to-face -face contact or indirect contact, meaning through someone that knows you and her or through the use of a phone or email, anything like that. You can't go back to this location of the alleged incident and no weapons or firearms while the case is open. All right, you understand that? Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you, sir. This is yours, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Your bond amount. Your Honor, Lauren Boyer is You're medical, welcome. but I do believe she has a victim. Okay, um, Lauren Boyer, someone here for Boyer, come up, sir. All right, for Ms. Boyer, I'll appoint the public defender. Do you want to waive or? Waive, please. Okay, I'll Can wave Ms. Can I ask Ms. where she is? Sorry? Can I ask where she is? I just know medical. It, is she okay? Uh, sir, we don't have any information, okay? So, who, first, can you tell me your name? Zachary Davis. Davis, okay, Mr. Davis. Um, I don't know where she is, but I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. I'll appoint the P. Oh, I already did. Okay, Wait, hold on. I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause. Do you want contact with Ms. Boyer? Yes. Okay. Do you understand that? Are you? No. Do you understand? Are you afraid for your safety? No, not at all. I actually have. Okay. I don't want to get into the facts of this case, okay? I just want to know whether or not you want contact with her. You said yes. Uh, do you understand that if she posts bond and gets out, that um, if things get escalated, it's on her to walk away? You understand? Yes, I'm here to post her bond. Well, this is not the place you do that. But also, you understand if things get heated again, it's on, it, you can call the police. You understand? Yes. Okay. All right. So I'm going to set bond in the amount of $1,000 on this charge. Hey, no weapons or firearms, question, no hostile contact with the victim. Can All I right, sir, I set bond, okay? I just want to ask one question. Okay. There was no physical evidence. All right, sir. So this is not the hand? place for that, okay? I posted bond, and you can post that for her if you wish. Okay. Is there any case I, I, I know how to find her if she's not doing okay? I mean... Unfortunately, no one... I can't give you that information, but I have to move on to other cases, okay? okay. Thank you. Thank you. Next case. Ms. Corrales? Hi. Could you tell me your full name and date of birth? Um, Kiana Marie Corrales, January 5th, 1994. All right. I'll appoint the public defender. Ma'am, you've been charged with battery. I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find PC. Um, based on... Your history, you qualify for pretrial release. I'm going to release you to pretrial release. Uh, no contact with the victim in this case. No contact is no face-to-face -face contact or indirect contact, meaning you can't um, can't use a phone or someone else that knows you and her and you and the victim, alleged victim, and no weapons or firearms. Okay. Thank you. Here's our Ferguson. Okay. You're welcome. You too. Good morning. <coughs> Could you tell me your full name, please? Okay, and your date of birth? Okay. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your full name? Jaron Curse. Your last name? Curse. Hurst? Okay. Hurst. Cursed. Okay, thank you. I'm having a hard time hearing. All right, I'll appoint the public defender. Um, Ms. Ferguson, I reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause. Mr. Curse, do you want contact with Ms. Ferguson? Yes. Are you afraid for your safety? No. Um, do you understand that if you do have contact and it gets escalated, it's on her to walk away and de-escalate the situation? Yes. You understand you can call the police if things do get heated again? Yes. All right, Ms. Ferguson, I'm going to release you to pretrial release. You qualify. You don't have to post a bond. While you're out and this case is open, you can't have any hostile contact with him, meaning if it gets escalated, it's on you to walk away. You understand? Is that a yes? Okay. No weapons or firearms while the case is pending. Thank you. This is our public defender. Okay. All right. Good morning. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Ms. Myers, is that you? Yes, All right. Could you tell me your full name and date of birth, please? Myers, May 30th, All right. Ms. Myers, I'll appoint the public defender. I reviewed the arrest affidavit. You've been charged with dating violence. Um, battery. I find probable cause. Um, based on your history, you qualify for pretrial release. I'm going to release you to pretrial release. 
while the case is open, one, no hostile, no contact with the victim in this case. No contact is no face-to-face -face contact or indirect contact, meaning you can't contact the victim through a phone or someone that knows you and her. No weapons or firearms while the case is open. Um, and I think you lived at this location, right? Yes. Okay. That is something that I had a question about because I own the home. Yeah. And, but she lives there, right? Yes. Okay. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to find somewhere else. Um, you can go back one time with law enforcement to collect your belongings, um, but until the case gets resolved, you can't go back. All right, thank you, ma'am. But you're on pretrial release, okay? All right, sir. Could you tell me your full name and your date of birth? Louis Oseguera, uh, 727 1981. All right, I'll, I'll appoint the public defender. Sir, you've been charged with violating a domestic violence injunction. I reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause. I'm setting bond in the amount of $5,000. If you do post bond, no weapons or firearms, and you cannot go back to this location and you cannot have any contact with the victim. Don't go back, no contact. Do you understand? All right, thank you, sir. Mr. Paul, or Ms. Paul. Good morning. Could you tell me your full name, please? Shirley Paul. And your date of birth? March 23rd, 1980. Okay, I'll appoint the public defender. Good morning, ma'am. Could you tell me your name? Kayla Depa. Your last name? Depa, D-E-P-A. Okay. Um, all right, I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause for the domestic violence battery. What Do you want contact with the victim, um, Ms. Paul? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You live at this address? Um, not anymore. Okay. All right, so um, you want, are you afraid for your safety? No. So it's going to be no hostile contact, meaning if it gets escalated, you know it's on Ms. Paul to walk away? Yes, ma'am. And you can still call the police? Yes, ma'am. All right. Um, Ms. Paul, based on your history, I'm going to allow you to um, be released to pretrial, okay? Uh, no contact with, no hostile contact with the victim, you understand? Mm -hmm. And no weapons or firearms as well? No. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Our information. Good morning, sir. Could you tell me your full name? Jerome Smart. And your date of birth? One twenty second ninety two. Thank you, Mr. Smart. I'll appoint the public defender to represent you this morning, sir. You've been charged with domestic violence battery. I reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause. I'm setting bond in the amount of fifteen hundred dollars. No contact with the victim. All right, no contact is no face-to-face -face contact or indirect contact. No weapons or firearms, and you, you cannot go back to the apartment. All right, thank you, sir. This is our information in your bond amount. Good morning. Could you tell me your full name and your date of birth? Me Bragg. I'm sorry? Me Bragg. And your date of birth? March 2nd, 1980. Okay. Ms. Bragg, I'll appoint the public defender to represent you. Um, you've been arrested for possession of a controlled substance, possession of um, paraphernalia, essentially, and petty theft. I reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find PC for all the charges. I'm setting bond on the possession of a controlled substance in the amount of $500. Count two, 100. Count three, 100. You can't go back to that location. Also, you're out on bond. So I'm revoking a release on the case you're out on bond on. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. So this, this is the new charge. Good morning, sir. Could you tell me your full name and your date of birth? Charlie Brown, August 18th, 1990. 
All right, I'll appoint the public defender to represent you. Sir, you've been charged with a burglary of a dwelling. I reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find PC. I'm setting bond in the amount of $5,000. You can't have any contact. You can't go back to that location. And that's it. Thank you, sir. Information and that's your bond amount. Okay. All right, Ms. Drury, could you tell me your full name and date of birth, please? Susan Jane Drury, 9 1970 Okay. I'll appoint the PD to represent you. Um, Ma'am, I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find PC. I'm going to lower your bond to $1,000. While the bond, if you post bond, you can't uh, have any weapons or firearms, okay? And no contact with whoever the victim. Thank you, and I won't. Okay, thank you. <laughs> your bond information and your public defender information, okay? okay? Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Could you tell me your full name and your date of birth? Sony Elmer. I'm sorry? Sony Elmer. Still Sony Elmer. So um, my arrest affidavit has a John Doe. And I don't have probable cause supporting document in this case. I don't have a John Doe. I do. Okay. What's your name, sir? Stasoni. Stasoni. Stasoni Elma? Is that you? Yes. And your date of birth? 2 13 2000 Okay. Um, do you want a minute to review this? Uh, yes, if, if that's okay with the court. Okay. So let's pass Mr. Elma. Do you, um, Steve, do you have a copy of this? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, can you share it with um, mm -hmm. defense counsel for me? Let's pass Mr. Elma. Actually, um, uh, Thanks. Mr. Paltos is by himself, so do you want to address the PC on Mr. Elma? Um, I can give you a minute to look at it right now if you want to. Okay. Okay, but let's address Mr. Fabian while he, is that you, sir? Yes, okay, can you tell me your full name, please? Fabian Jacob Grady. All right, and your date of birth? 10, 12, 1986. Okay. Um, I'll appoint the public defender to represent you. You've got two things. First, you were arrested for driving with a suspended license. Also, you're, there's a warrant for your arrest. So on the warrant out of Sumner County, bond has been set at zero. I'm not going to change that. On the DWLS, I'll set bond in the amount of $1,000. $500 bond uh, for Sumner County. Hold on, let me see. Is there a bond on the Sumner? $5,000 bond, Your Honor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's 5000 on the Sumner County? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. I'm going to leave that bond, the Sumner County, 5000 and then on the DWLS in this case, I'll leave it at 1000 all right, and the public defender represents you, and I find PC. This is our information. I don't know. I don't think so. No. I think uh, Sumner set that bond. That's it. All right, let's recall Mr. Elma. All right, uh, Mr. Elma, I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. Um, I'll appoint the public defender. I find PC. Uh, count one, I'm setting bond at 1,000. Count two, I'm setting bond at 500. Count three, I'm setting bond at 250. You can't go back to this location, all right? And no contact with the victim, no weapons or firearms. So this is all, all right, thank you, sir. Johnson? Good 
Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your full name and your date of birth? My name is Willie Johnson, September 8th, 1989. All right. Sir, you, um, I'll appoint the PD to represent you. There's a warrant out for your arrest, and the warrant is already set at $2,500, so I'm not going to change that. I, I didn't want to really interrupt. I know it sounds crazy, but, you know, I, I actually was, uh, I'm on probation, and I check in, and I stay with my girl in Pine Hills that just came to the neighborhood that got stopped on the bike. And they okay. I had a well, warrant so, for Mr. Johnson, delivery. this is not the place to talk about your case. Everything is recorded, and the prosecutors are right there. Um, I'm going to leave the bond as is, and I, I don't know what's going to happen with your probation. Thank you, sir. How, how, how long ago this warrant was from? How long what? This warrant was from. I can't hear you. How long ago this warrant was from? It just popped in the system? I don't know. Like, I don't get it. Like, I don't, Let me see. I don't do crime. So All right, sir. So the warrant. I'm a, I'm a construction worker. I don't do crime. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me answer your question. The warrant was signed uh, on April... It looks like April 22nd, 2022. So this is a warrant that's been floating around. So talk to your lawyer. They'll address it for you, okay? Thank you, sir. This is not the time for us to get into your case, okay? Thank you. Mr. Long? He bonded. Bonded, all right, thank you. Mr. Majors? Good after Good morning. Could you tell me your full name and your date of birth, please? Uh, Dalton Majors, uh, 629-94. Thank you. I'll appoint the PD to represent you. Sir, I've reviewed your arrest affidavit. I find probable cause. Count one, I'm setting bond in the amount of 1,000. Count two, 500. You can't go back to this place, and you can't have any contact with the victim. All right? Thank you. Next case, more. You're welcome. Okay. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your full name and your date of birth? Dr. Jamil Moore, 12182. All right, thank you. I'll appoint the public defender to represent you. Sir, you've been arrested for possession of MDMA and trespass after warning. I reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find PC. As to the MDMA, I'm setting bond at 1,000, count two, 100, um, and you can't go back to this location. All right, thank you, sir. Good morning. Can you tell me your full name and your date of birth? Uh, good morning. Um, uh, uh, Gregory Plasso, 11 13, 1981. All right. Sir, I'll appoint the public defender to represent you. There's a warrant out for your arrest. Bond has already been set at $1,500, okay? Um, yeah. What's up? Um, uh, I, I have got a, 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 a bond hearing on a case three, three years ago. That was the only way for me to get out. And they Wait, what are you asking for right uh, now? No bondsman will will work with me like i like like my family trying to, to, to pay twice as much but they won't work with me then you have to talk to your attorney about getting thank you sir okay. here's your attorney's information good morning mr pitts can you tell me your full name good morning, and your honor good morning can you tell me your full name and your date of birth yes ma'am david oscar pitts July 15, 1977. all right i'll appoint the public defender to represent you so you've got a couple of things going on You've got, you were arrested for a uh, no valid driver's license, also um, for a counterfeit of the validation sticker, and you're also out on bond. So I reviewed the arrest affidavits. I find PC for the no valid driver's license. Bond is set at 500. Um, I'm going to ROR you on the counterfeit validation. I don't find PC on that, but I'm revoking your release on the DWLS and the no vehicle tag on the case that you're out on bond on. All right. Thank you, sir. So that means that you have... Raka? You have a $500 bond in one case, but then you have a revoked bond in the one that you are out on. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to talk to your attorney to, um, to get a bond. Thank you. You're welcome. Good afternoon. Could you tell me your full name and your date of birth, please? Uh, Alexander Raka. And your date of... Alexander Joachim Raka. Okay. Uh, July 31st, 1991. All right. I'll appoint the PD to represent you. Sir, I've reviewed... You were arrested for Bat Leo, resisting with violence and trespass. I reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause. Uh, I'm 
on the Batley I'm setting bond at $2,500. Count two, $300. Count three, $200, okay? You can't go back to the location if you do post bond. All right, thank you, sir. Bond information, and this is our information. Okay, okay. Good morning. Rihanna Bennett, bond eight yards. I've got um, Smith Corrades, Shemaine. Okay, inmate number 22014683 for Smith Corrades. Bonded, Your Honor. Bonded, okay. All right, so Brianna Bennett. Bonded. Bonded. All right. Wayne Graham. Uh, inmate number 22014677. Bonded, Your Honor. All right. Next, I have Ellis. What's the first name? Okay. Uh, Raheen Ellis. Do we already? Oh, whoops. Okay. I skipped over Paul Barwin. Sarah and Magana. Is that you, sir? Ellis. Okay, Ellis. Hold on. All right, so calling Raheen Ellis. Um, all right, Mr. Ellis, what's your birthday? When's your birthday? 8 5 1993. All right. Um, I'll appoint the public defender to represent you. So, sir, you were arrested for possession of cannabis. Also, you're out on bond um, on another case. So on the possession of cannabis, I find PC. I'm setting bond at 500. On the um, other case, I'm revoking your release because you're out on bond. All right? And I'll appoint the PD to represent you. Thank you, sir. cases you were revoked it. Um, no, the 22 CF 4551, the Bat Leo and the resisting. That's the one you revoked it? Yes. So I got to get that, this, this one resolved and then I... You got to get all of them resolved. Hmm? You got to get all of them resolved. Contact your lawyer. It looks like Mr. Whedon represents you, yeah. so call him. Okay, so here's the trip. All right, thank you, sir. Information. Case, the new case, 500, the second case, the old case, revoked, okay. All right, so on Paul Barwin, Saron Managua, that's inmate number 22014670. Bonded? Okay, thank you. What? Okay. And then I've got Hector Louise. Moreno Ortiz, that's inmate number 22014672. Um, what's your name? What is it? Amy Stone. I don't have Miss Stone's information. Would you like to look at this copy, Your Honor? Um, but I still need the clerks um, to oh. prep the information. So, Miss Stone, why don't you hang out and wait for us to get that ready? All right. So I have um, Moreno Ortiz. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. Could you tell me your full name and date of birth? Dr. Luis Mano Ortiz, June 14, 83. Okay. I'll appoint the PD to represent you. Um, sir, I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find PC. You were charged with trespass. Um, I'm setting bond in the amount of uh, 500. Don't go back to the location if you post bond, okay? Thank you, sir. Sharper? Good morning. Good afternoon. Could you tell me your full name and your date of birth? Andrea Colleen Sharber, 11 All right. Um, Ms. Sharber, you, you've been charged with possession of drug paraphernalia, resisting without violence, the roadway solicitation, and soliciting without a permit. I'll appoint the PD to represent you. I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find PC on all of this, on all the counts. You don't qualify for pretrial. Um, I'm setting bond. I'll stay all the amounts. So count one, 500, count two, 500, count three, 250, count four, 250. 
All right, thank you, ma'am. Find them out in the public defender's information, okay? Thank you. Oh, you don't have an affidavit. So what happens? Do we just reset it? Or? I've never had that happen. Well, you'll have to talk to your attorney. That's that's something later down the line. There's a couple of things that we're going to All right. Are you Mr. Toussaint? Yes, You're just yes ma'am. Okay. Can you tell me your full name and your date of birth, please? Richie Toussaint, 052596. Um, right. You guys actually have my birthday wrong. Okay. Um, so, sir, a couple of things. I'll appoint the PD to represent you. So, first, there's an VOP out of Broward warrant. Two of them. Two. One of them. One, one, one. I'm sorry. Ooh. One. All right. So, bond is already, bond was uh, zero. Zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I'm not going to change it. All right, thank you, sir. Oh, one thing, ma'am. Okay. Is I'm going to get expedited or anything like that? I'm just going to be sitting here because... I don't know. I'm not sure how that works. But contact your lawyer, okay? All right. All right, thank you, sir. It's in the, it's the information sheet. Where's that one? for Stone because it's a DUI yep I don't have that with you okay. it's, yeah do you have a case number for Stone Sorry. do you have a case number for Stone All right, um, Amanda Nicole Clark. Medical. Medical. I'll appoint the PDs. Do you waive? Waive, please. Okay. Um, I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. Um, there's no PC. The email is not sworn to. So she's ROR on both counts. All right, Green Arnold, Ricardo Green Arnold. Behavior. Okay, I'll appoint the PD. Do you waive? Waive. Okay. I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. Oh, wait. This is a KPS. Bond has been set at zero. I'll stay that amount. Um, next one is April Lacey. Medical. Okay. I'll appoint the PDs. Do you waive? Waive. All right. Um, I find PC on the retail theft. Bond is set at 500. No return to the Walmart. Uh, I'm sorry. Lacey, she's medical. And then McCall. Are you, are you Mr. McCall? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you tell me your full name and your date of birth? Evan Lorenzo McCall, 424-87. Okay. I'll appoint the PD to represent you. Yeah, I don't find PC on this count. Um, so I'm going to ROR you on this count, okay? Don't go back to wherever. Let's move. The state move for a reset. The second 24-hour final. Because you've already had an extension for the 24 hours. For the for mental health, for the defense, Your Honor, I believe. Okay. All right. Um, Mr. McCall, I'm going to reset you for 24 hours for the state to get PC, okay? So another tomorrow they'll let you know what they're going to do, okay? All right. Thank you, sir. 
Torres? Okay. Good morning, sir. Could you tell me your full name and your date of birth? And, okay. All right, I'll appoint the PDs. So, sir, you are, there's a warrant out for you. Um, it's no bond because of the charge. I'm not going to change that. All right, so you're set at no bond, okay? Thank you, sir. No contact with the victim as well. Mr. St. Louis? Behavior. Okay, I'll appoint the PD. Do you wave? Wave. All right. Um, I reviewed the arrest affidavit. I do find PC. I'll set bond in the amount of 500. No contact with the victim. All right. Danny Luck? Yes. Okay. Sir, could you tell me your full name and your date of birth? Uh, Scott Allen Danny Luck, uh, October 22nd, 1964. All right. Um, I'll appoint the PDs to represent you. I review the arrest affidavit. Is there an offer? No, Your Honor. Okay. Um, do you want credit time served? Uh, you want to close out the case or you want to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes? Yeah, today. yeah, yes. All right, but are you on probation? No. All right. So, sir, what I'm offering you is credit time served. Do you understand that if you're on probation or some kind of supervision, it can it can really affect that, right? Yeah. Okay. You understand you have the right to contest this case, to hire a lawyer, get them to review the discovery, or you know you're waiving all those rights in exchange for credit time served? Yes. Okay. All right. So um, your lawyer is filling out the form that says that you understand all, everything I just told you, and you're waiving all of that to close out this case in exchange for credit time served, okay? And that's a conviction. You understand? Yes. Okay. Your Honor, how long on the CTS? Thank you. What's the um, date? Two days. Two? <laughs> Two days credit time served. Also, any fees and costs you need to pay um, within one year. Otherwise, it, it gets sent to collections, the charges add up, and you could get your driver's license suspended. You understand? Yes. Okay. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. Can we handle Stella now? Or do we need to? Oh, okay. Ms. Stone, um, they're bringing the paperwork up from downstairs, so the clerks have to enter the case before we call Ms. Stone. So, can we call Mr. Rivi Riviera, Derek? Javon Rivera, he bonded. Okay, bonded. Your Honor. Yes. For clarification, we have Devon and Derek Rivera. Devon bonded out? Yes. What about D Derek? I'm sorry? Sure. Inmate number 22014674. Posted by your honor. Bonded, okay. And what about Riley's, Antoine Riley's? That's inmate number 22014679. Yes, posted by. Bonded, okay. All right, while we're waiting for the paperwork on Ms. Stone, can we address Ms. Stone? Yes, Your Honor. All right, Ms. Stone, um, you have been arrested for DUI. Um, I'll appoint the public defender to represent you. I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause. Um, okay. 
Does she qualify for pretrial release? No? Yes, Your Honor, but it will have to be a bond or because her aphis has not, her fingerprints have not went through. Okay. All right. What I'll do is um, I'll release you to pretrial release. If you don't qualify for whatever reason, bond is set at 500 in the alternative. No alcohol while you're, the case is still pending. Okay? All right. All right. So you're going to be pretrial or 500 if you don't want it. This is our information. It's public information. All right, thank you. We're off the record. I invest hours of my time every single day to make these videos possible. Unfortunately, the engagement on my videos has been very low recently. Most of the Bond Court viewers do not hit the like button on my videos. Please, 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 hit the like button on my videos. The YouTube algorithms heavily favor videos with more likes. If you do not like my videos then please tell me why in the comments and I can make changes to improve the channel. Thank you to all of you that do hit the like button, I am sorry that you have to hear this repetitive message, but without this message, less than 10% of viewers will like my videos. To the best of my abilities, Laura Bretaña, Spanish interpreter. All right, thank you. First up is Carlos Maldonado. Could you state your name and your date of birth, please? El primero es el señor Carlos Maldonado. Señor, por favor, diga su nombre completo y su fecha de nacimiento. Carlos Javier Maldonado, septiembre 6, 9, 1972. Carlos Javier Maldonado, September 6, 1972. All right, Mr. Maldonado, you are here for the arrest of uh, no vehicle registration and driving with a suspended license. Muy bien, señor Maldonado, usted se encuentra aquí ante una acusación de no tener la matriculación del vehículo y conducir con la licencia suspendida. All right, I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. I do find probable cause as to count one, no vehicle registration. I'll set bond in the amount of $250. Second count, the DWLS, I'll stay that amount, $500. Additionally, you're out on bond on 22 CF 1282. I'm revoking your release. Excuse me, Your Honor. Well, um, yes. Muy bien, muy bien, señor. Eh, de, según el, habiendo repasado el documento acusatorio, determinó que existen indicios de criminalidad para su arresto. En cuanto al primer cargo, no tener la matriculación del vehículo, se impone fianza por la cantidad de 250 dólares. En cuanto a la segunda acusación de conducir con la licencia suspendida, la fianza permanece tal cual 500 dólares. Señor, usted se encuentra libre bajo fianza en cuanto a la acusación 22 CF 128 y esa fianza se revoca. Yes, Ms. Patino. Um, yes, Your Honor. Mr. Maldonado was driving a motorized bicycle and the bicycle. So, ma'am, um, it looks like Mr. Maldonado is financially able to afford a lawyer. So, I don't see where he has requested. Um, a public defender to be appointed. Mr. Maldonado, are you seeking a representation from the public defender? Eh, licenciada, dígame si el señor Maldonado estaba conduciendo una bicicleta motorizada. Licenciada, el señor Maldonado gana mucho dinero, no cumple con los requisitos del abogado de oficio. No veo por qué lo ha solicitado. Señor Maldonado, le pregunto ahora a usted. ¿Solicitó usted los servicios del abogado de oficio? De ella, sí. Hers, yes. Okay. Um, I'll appoint the public defender provisionally. So, your PC argument? Bueno, entonces, el abogado de oficio se designa provisionalmente. Licenciada, por favor, entonces, ahora su argumentación en cuanto a los indicios de criminalidad. Your Honor, Mr. Maldonado was um, driving a motorized bicycle, and the motor is so small that he was unable to register it with the Department of Motor Vehicles. Su señoría, el señor Maldonado se encontraba conduciendo una bicicleta motorizada. Este motor era tan pequeño que él no pudo o no se le permitió matricularlo en el departamento de vehículos de motor. So he didn't have um, motor vehicle registration because he was unable to get to get it. 
Él no tenía la matriculación del vehículo porque no la pudo conseguir. Ok. Response. Based on the totality of the circumstances, based on the totality of the circumstances, the officer identified that it was a motorized vehicle uh, with 49 cc engine, which does fall under the Florida statutes uh, to potentially require that registration. So uh, the probable cause was met based off of the observations and knowledge of the officer in this case, Your Honor. All right, Ms. Patino, I think Just you're asking me to go outside of the four corners of the complaint. Um, I'm going to maintain my ruling. Thank you. Eh, su señoría, según la totalidad de las circunstancias, el agente de las autoridades identificó a este vehículo como uno motorizado. Ese motor excede los 49 cc que le requieren la matriculación según las leyes de la Florida. Eh, basado en esta observación, su señoría le estamos solicitando que determine que existen indicios de criminalidad. Muy bien, licenciada. Esto que usted está argumentando no está contenido en el documento acusatorio, así que voy a sostener lo que había dictaminado anteriormente. All right, thank you. Next case, Alberto Molina López. Good morning, sir. Could you tell me your first full name and your date of birth? Buenos días, señor. Por favor, dígame su nombre completo y la fecha y su fecha de nacimiento. Alberto Molina López, 8 de abril del 81. Alberto Molina López, April 8, 1981. All right, sir. You are here because you were arrested for uh, operating a motor vehicle without a valid driver's license. I'll appoint the public defender. Um, I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. I do find PC. I'll set bond uh, in that amount. Is it just one count or two? Just one count. I'll set bond in the amount of $150. Additionally, you're out on bond on another case, 22CT1665. I'm revoking your release. Muy bien, señor. Usted fue puesto bajo arresto por conducir un vehículo de motor sin licencia válida. Se designa el abogado de oficio para que les represente, según el documento acusatorio, determinó que existen indicios de criminalidad para su arresto. Se concede fianza pues, en la cantidad de 150 dólares. Señor, usted se encuentra libre bajo fianza ante la acusación 22CT1695 y esa fianza se revoca. All right, thank you. Does anyone else need the assistance of a Spanish-speaking interpreter? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, who is that? Alejandra Colon Ramos. All right, Alejandra Colon Ramos. Good morning, ma'am. Could you tell me your full name and your date of birth? Buenos días, señora. Por favor, dígame su nombre completo y su fecha de nacimiento. Alejandro Sofía Colón Ramos, 31 de julio de 1999. Alejandra Sofía Colón Ramos, July 31st, 1999. All right, thank you. I'll appoint the public defender. Ma'am, you've been charged with domestic violence battery. I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. I do find probable cause. Muy bien, señor, usted fue puesta bajo arresto por agresión física por violencia doméstica. Se designa el abogado de oficio para que le represente y según el documento acusatorio determinó que existen indicios de criminalidad. I'll set bond in the amount of $1,000. Se concede fianza, $1,000. You are to have no contact with the victim in this case. No contact means no face-to-face -face contact or indirect contact. Señora, se le prohíbe todo tipo de contacto con la víctima del caso y una prohibición total de contacto incluye eh, contacto cara a cara y a través de terceros. All right, thank you. Your Honor, Gracias. Your Honor, sure. for the record, she has no prior arrest and we did have contact with both victims and they are requesting contact. 
All right. Well, they're not present before me, and I don't have the ability to take testimony. Does anyone else need the assistance of a Spanish-speaking interpreter? Ms. Potano, do you know of anyone that needs the assistance? Um, anyone else need the Spanish? Spanish? Could. Yes, one more, Your Honor. All right. Name? Rafael Duran. D-U-R-A-N. Duran. Okay. Mr. Duran? He's approaching, Your Honor. All right. Could you tell me your full name? Señor Duran, por favor, dígame su nombre completo. Rafael Francisco Durán. And your date of birth? Y su fecha de nacimiento, ¿cuál es? 1951. October 15, 1951. All right, I'll appoint the public defender. Sir, you have been charged with criminal mischief. I reviewed the arrest affidavit. I do find probable cause. Muy bien, señor, se le designe el abogado de oficio para que le represente. Usted ha sido acusado por daños a la propiedad de terceros. Luego de repasar el documento acusatorio, determinó que existen indicios de criminalidad. I'm staying the amount of bond, meaning I'm not changing it. Bond is set at $1,000. You are to have no contact with the victim in this case, no direct or indirect contact. La fianza permanecerá tal cual, eso significa que no la voy a cambiar en mil dólares. Se le prohíbe todo tipo de contacto con la víctima y esto incluye contacto tanto directo como indirecto. Because you're out on bond on 22 CF 1064, I'm revoking your release. Usted se encontraba libre bajo fianza en el caso 22 CF 1064, su puesta en libertad se revoca. All right, thank you. All right, last call. Does anyone else need the assistance of a Spanish-speaking interpreter? And ma'am, could you translate that in Spanish, please? Yes. Alguna de las personas que restan en la cárcel necesita los servicios del intérprete al español? Was that a yes, Ms. Potato? No, Your Honor. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right, ma'am, I will disconnect for the Spanish-speaking interpreter. Thank you, Your Honor. Oh, how do I... Oh, okay, she'll hang up. Thank you. All right, Jorge Suspedes. He's in the hospital. All right, I'll appoint the public defender. Do you waive his appearance? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Um, I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. I do find probable cause. I'll set bond in the amount of $1,000. There's no contact with the victim in this case, uh, and no weapons, no possession of weapons or firearms. All right, next case is Jesus Colon Del Valle. Good morning, sir. Could you tell me your full name and date of birth? My name is Jesus Colon del Valle, uh, July 6, 1994. All right. I'll appoint the public defender. Sir, you have been arrested for the violation of a domestic violence injunction. I reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause. I'm setting bond in that case in the amount of $1,000. Additionally, you're out on bond on a misdemeanor case. I'm revoking your release on that. Thank you, sir. Next case, Brian Thomas Edwards. Hello. All right, could you tell me your full name and date of birth, please? Brian Thomas Edwards, 321-85. All right, uh, you've got two cases. I'll appoint the public defender. The first case, you're arrested for petty theft. In the second case, you're arrested for false name or ID by arrestee. With respect to the petty theft, I do find PC. I'll set bond on that case in the amount of $250. You can't go back to that location. Additionally, on the false name, I find PC. I'm setting bond uh, in the amount of $500. Your Honor, All right, that's it. Your yes. Honor, um, I believe he qualifies direct for direct PTR. That's for both cases, Your Honor. Okay. Um, I don't have his history. Um, I have his history, Your Honor. Um, he does have priors dating back to 2013. Um, he does have prior petty thefts. He had a... All right. His most recent was a 2019 disorderly intox. Okay. Based upon the facts of this case, I'll release you to pretrial release, okay? Don't go back to that location. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next case, Rose Ann Flores.
Good morning. Can you tell me your full name and your date of birth, please? Roseanne Flores, 331-89. Thank you. Ma'am, you've been charged with driving with a suspended license. I'll appoint the public defender. I reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause. Um, you qualify for pretrial release, so I will release you to pretrial release, but no driving without a valid license. You understand? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Next case. James Gilbert. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your full name and date of birth? James Lamont Gilbert, 12869. All right, thank you. Sir, you've been arrested because you have an active warrant out of, I believe it's either Polk County. Osceola. Okay, well, all right. So because of that, um, your bond has been already previously set at $5,000. So I'll stay that amount. I'm not going to change it, okay? Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, Next case, Harrison. Oh, I'll point the PD too. Harrison. He's approaching, Your Honor. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your full name and date of birth, please? Rosen Harrison, 11, all right, I'll appoint the public defender. Sir, you've been arrested for petty theft. I reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause. Um, I'm setting bond in this case in the amount of $250. You can't go back to that location. All right, thank you. Your Honor, he has a second case. Mm -hmm. Oh. For a, a violation of probation. Okay. Yes, I see that now. All right, so on the second case, I'll appoint the public defender. Um, because of the on-view arrest, I'm, rev I'm revoking, well, the bond is set at zero based on your status, okay? So you have no bond. Thank you. Next case, Jesus Leon. Leon. Your Honor, he does qualify for direct PTR. And Thank you. And he has no prior arrest. Thank you. Can you tell me your full name and date of birth? Jesus Eduardo Leon, 1991, 30. Okay. Um, I'll appoint the public defender. Sir, you've been arrested for DUI. I reviewed the arrest affidavit. I do find probable cause. Based upon your history, I'll allow you to be released to pretrial release. Uh, no alcohol while you're, this case is pending. You understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you. Next case, Jose Navarrete Rivera. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your full name and date of birth, please? Uh, Jose Angel Navarrete Rivera, Jr. And your date of birth? All right. I'll appoint the public defender. Sir, you've been arrested for battery. I've reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause. I'm setting bond in the amount of $1,000. If you post bond, you cannot have any contact with the victim in this case. No contact is no direct contact face-to-face -face contact or indirect contact, meaning between someone that knows you and the victim or through any social media or electronic device. You additionally cannot go back to wherever this alleged incident occurred. All right, thank you, sir. Right. Next case, John Rivera. He's approaching, Your Honor. Thank you. Um, and your honor, for the record, I did speak with the defendant's, the, with the alleged victim, the defendant's um, daughter. She stated that she had brought Mr. Rivera from Georgia um, in order to be his caretaker as he does have um, medical issues um, in, that affects his memory and his um, demeanor at times. And she is, was not able to make it today to the court due to work obligations, but she is requesting contact. She stated that uh, Mr. Rivera has no other place to go. He gets lost easily and confused. All right, thank you. Mr. Rivera, can you tell me your date of birth? My name is uh, 62438. All right, I'll appoint the public defender. Mr. Rivera, I reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause. 
um, based upon your history, I'm going to release you to pretrial release. Also, I looked at the arrest affidavit. It looks like your daughter's taking care of you. You cannot have any hostile contact with her, okay? Hostile contact means if it gets escalated, it's on you to walk away or de-escalate the situation, okay? Your Honor, unfortunately, yes. he does not qualify for, for um, non-monetary release with PTR. We would request oh. ROR, Your Honor, if you'd be so inclined. State, any objection? Your Honor. All right, I'll release you to ROR. Thank you, sir. Oh, Next right. case, Zachary Shea. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your full name and date of birth? Zachary Shea, 102191. Thank you. Um, I'll appoint the public defender. Sir, you have been arrested for battery, misdemeanor battery. I reviewed the arrest affidavit. I do find probable cause. Um, I'm setting bond in the amount of $1,000. You are not to have any contact with the victim in this case. No contact is no face-to-face -face contact or indirect contact, meaning through someone that knows you and the victim or through the use of a, any phone or electronic device. All right. Thank you, sir. Next case, Jarvis Hill. Good morning. Could you tell me your full name and date of birth? Thank you. Sir, you have been arrested for a warrant. Bond is previously set at zero, so I'm going to stay that amount and leave it as is, okay? Thank you, Mr. Hill. Next case, Sebastian Smith. Good morning. Can you tell me your full name and date of birth, please? Sebastian Richard Smith, 521-98. All right. I'll appoint the public defender. Sir, you were arrested for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and grand retail theft. I'll appoint the public defender. I reviewed the arrest affidavit. I find probable cause for both. On the first count, I'm setting bond uh, at 3000 at the second count, I'm sending bond at 1,000. You are to have no return. You can't go back to that location of the alleged incident. All right? Thank you, sir. All right, that completes Osceola. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. I invest hours of my time every single day to make these videos possible. Unfortunately, the engagement on my videos has been very low recently. Most of the Bond Court viewers do not hit the like button on my videos. Please, please, please. Hit the like button on my videos. The YouTube algorithms heavily favor videos with more likes. If you do not like my videos then please tell me why in the comments and I can make changes to improve the channel. Thank you to all of you that do hit the like button, I am sorry that you have to hear this repetitive message, but without this message, less than 10% of viewers will like my videos. Thank you to all of my patrons, members, and supporters. You are the reason that I am able to upload new Bond Chords daily. All members and patrons receive access to the Bond Court Discord server. Please send me a message on Patreon or leave a comment on YouTube if you are unable to join the server. Thank you all for your support.